A real gun made to look like a Nerf toy gun. And it's making headlines all across the country. News for Jack's reporter Eric Avenier joining us in the studio tonight. He's been looking into this. Eric. Yeah, so let me just kind of explain how this all works. So this right here, this is a real Glock 19 handgun. It's real. But guess what? So is this one. It's a real Glock 19 handgun, only it's been painted orange and blue. However, we'll come over here. That same handgun has been added to this extra plastic, thrown a Nerf uh, logo, and now you've got what looks like a toy, but it's a real gun. Now, we earlier tonight we spoke with the um, earlier tonight we spoke with the sheriff of Putnam County, and he says this is a real game changer. At first glance, this looks like a typical blue and orange Nerf toy gun. But when police in North Carolina took it apart, they realized it was actually a semi-automatic Glock 19 handgun with a 50-round drum magazine that was altered to look like a toy. I emailed these pictures to Putnam County Sheriff Gator DeLoach to get his reaction. Unbelievable. I saw the Nerf logo and, you know, I immediately questioned. I thought, you know, this, this is a Nerf gun. This is, this is a mistake. If one of your deputies ever encountered something like that, what would happen? You know, my biggest fear, Eric, is that uh, they would they would have the same reaction that you and I did, that it was a, a Nerf gun or a toy and hesitate. And, you know, uh, that, that could be potentially deadly for uh, for one of my deputies or, or any uh, law enforcement officer across the country. Local law enforcement agencies we contacted say they have encountered suspects with BB guns that look like real guns. Also, Sheriff Deloach says it's not uncommon for gun owners to customize their firearm with a new paint job, but... I've never seen one that was uh, that was done to uh, to mimic a, a, a toy. News for Jack's crime and safety expert Ken Jefferson says if a child points a toy gun at an officer, it's natural for the officer to pause. But when a teenager or adult points it at an officer, he will be justified in defending himself. Meaning the officer only has a split second to determine if the gun is real or a toy. And in that split second, the officer has the right to draw his weapon and use deadly force if he or she feels their life is in danger. Now going forward, there is a likelihood that many law enforcement agencies across the U.S. will have meetings to discuss this subject as a new potential threat.